Alright, you should be uh, should be on now. There we go. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, can see Are you. Are on? Yeah, I'm on. Yeah. Okay, part two, because we got interrupted by somebody very kindly phoning my phone, which balls us up. Um, so just to be super clear, super fast, super to the point, uh, Councillor Julia Davison has submitted a calling request for the St. Michael, uh, Michael's Gate scenario problem issue. I've um, supported it. We'll be getting support from Councillor Nick Sanford as well. And that means that the decision that would have just been pushed through um, through the cabinet, etc., by the Conservative administration, will now be scrutinised um, further, which will give opposition councils the chance to have a say on it. Yeah, I've been contacted by three local residents who are affected by this very same notice. Obviously, some are actually looking at being evicted by October the 26th. Um, that said, it's causing a huge amount of anxiety for the families, and obviously there are health. Um, related issues, these families are at their wits end. It is stupid, it is mindless, and the actions taken by this administration is not kosher. We as Lib Dems are advocating it should have been transparent, it should have been discussed, at least given the opportunity for us to all be aware of as councillors, so that if we weren't in agreement with this, then our voices would be heard. The fact that Darren and I do not represent these residents, but on the whole we do represent Peterborough City, um, I'm shocked and horrified to say that this situation has landed on our table. We've both been contacted by residents from the Palmwell area. I would say congratulations as well to those people out there on Facebook, Twitter, etc., who have taken the initiative to uh, raise the issue, promote the issue, uh, share the information, start the petition. So congratulations if you've uh, added your name or support to that. Yeah. Uh, it's already been mentioned in the Telegraph, so thank you to the Telegraph for uh, raising it. Thank you to the uh, BBC Radio Cambridgeshire people, as always. Great interviews, you know, fabulous journalism. And holding the Conservative administration to account. Uh, we can't do everything ourselves, so we do appreciate it. But from our point of view, um, I know that there are senior officers who get paid a lot of money who tell me that this is a fan, you know, a great idea. It's brilliant, it's all fine and dandy. It's one of those situations that, as a, a Liberal Democrat, as a Peter Borean, as somebody who uh, born and raised in the city, I look at it and I think that doesn't look right, that doesn't smell right, something's wrong. The idea that you move somebody out of a house in order to replace them with uh, a homeless person for a temporary basis, it's just, it's backward, it's, it's, it's illogical, it, it, it just doesn't add up. And especially when you look, you've got somebody who's working, paying their council tax, being a good resident, being a good tenant, and the way they're being treated, you know, I don't care if this uh, uh, state agents, whoever this agency are, whether they do it elsewhere in the country, because it's not my role or my responsibility to worry about elsewhere in the country. We worry about Peterborough. We want to make sure that people in Peterborough, wherever you are, wherever your background, however much money, you, money you've got in the bank account, you get treated fairly. And right now, those people in Palmwell, we don't believe are being treated fairly. They're not getting a fair representation at all. This is a bum deal and it's absolutely horrendous. Um, these residents were in short tenancies and now they're facing eviction. Some as early again, and I will repeat, the 26th of October. We're only talking here a couple of weeks away. The other thing on the back note of that is Christmas is only two months away. How is this, in this current day and age, right to do? These are families with health issues, complex needs. This situation has to be looked at further. And that will happen now, thanks to the Liberal Democrat group on Peterborough City Council taking the initiative, listening to the concerns of residents, addressing the matter, submitting the formal calling request, and we just hope as well that fellow opposition councillors take on the initiative and help us hold this, I can hardly bring myself to say it, but this Conservative-controlled City Council, who for too long have got away with too much, but their time is running out, and this is a good chance for us to really, as a community in Peterborough, stand up and say, Enough's enough. You're taking the mick. This isn't right. We don't want it. Thank you.